It's been a busy year for both Nike and Jordan brand. They've already released a handful of Jordan 1 colorways, including the Union LA, the True Blue, and we're gearing up for the release of the long-awaited Air Jordan 1 High 85 Panda. But in today's video, we're taking a look at what has been rumored for some time to be releasing this week, but it also might be releasing later this year, and that is the Air Jordan 1 High White Cement. Now, typically the cement or elephant print detailing, if you prefer, is usually reserved for the Jordan 3 silhouette from 1988. But Nike have been experimenting in recent years with putting the cement print on other silhouettes. In the past, we've seen Jordan brand put in the cement print detailing on the Jordan 1 Fat Low from 2008, the Supreme Nike SB Dunk Low Red Cement from 2012, and of course, the Air Jordan 1 High Black Cement that we saw released in 2016. So it's not the first time they've ventured out, but it is typically reserved for the Jordan 3. And I know I keep going on about this. I feel like I'm just a purist. I like things to be as they are. And I think people also share the same opinion. What's interesting here though, is that earlier this year, year Jordan brand decided to release the Air Jordan 1 High True Blue that was inspired by the True Blue Jordan 3 model but didn't put any cement print detailing on it. It doesn't make sense to me. Since the colorway was unveiled online, we've seen sneakerheads coming out and weighing in with their own comments. This one person said, they're okay, but a little bit 2002. Another comment says, these would look better with a black toe and the elephant print limited to just the toe box or the swoosh. Less is more. Another sneakerhead weighed in and said, these are way too much and elephant print is only for Jordan 3s. They have a possibility to sit and the material is cheap. However, there were some more positive comments. This one guy says, they remind me of the Supreme Dunk Low, so I'm in. Moving on to the shoe now and what we can see is the clean white leather base. And on top of that, we can see the cement print on the heel and around the toe box, along with a black swoosh, a sail aged midsole underfoot, and a black ankle support. They also come with black laces and there's a black Jordan Wings logo on the outside of the ankle, along with a gray outsole on the foot. Now, initially I wasn't the greatest fan of this colorway in particular, and I still do think that the cement print detailing belongs on the Jordan 3 model, but the more I see the shoe, the more it's growing on me. I don't know if it's something that I'm going to buy though. I do think that they may sit when they release. I don't think it's gonna be a sellout affair and I do think you'll be able to pick them up relatively easy if you are trying to buy them. So the Air Jordan 1 High White Cement was initially rumored to be releasing on February the 25th. That's literally in a week's time from now, but it is confirmed that these instead will be releasing on May the 6th. So if you are trying to buy a pair, you've got a little while to wait. Price wise, these are slated to be around $180. So us in the UK will be expected to pay around 150 for them. And if you're thinking about how the shoe fits and you don't own any Jordan 1s already, they are pretty true to size, but they are quite forgiving and you can go half a size to a full size down. I have done it myself. I think I've worn like a nine and a half and I'm an 11 and they weren't too bad, but they are true to size. So get your size. If you're an 11, get an 11. But if you want to go lower because you don't want to look like they're too big, feel free to do that as well. So that is everything there is to know about the Air Jordan 1 High White Cement. That is releasing on May the 6th, so make sure you put that in your calendars if you do not want to miss it. Let me know what you think of the shoe and let me know whether you think it's gonna work or whether you don't think it's gonna work, whether you think it will sell out and whether it will just sit on the shelf. And I will see you next time for another video. Peace.